When I bead, it's not just in the physical. The thread and needles pass through the hide and I feel it in my fingers, but it's more than just that. I hold those needles in my hand. I'm holding not just my own experience and knowledge, but my grandmother's too. They help guide my stitches with the memory of the stitches they made when they were my age. I think back to the first grandmothers who held these beads in their hand and used them to create new technique, applying the skills of porcupine quill workers. Stitching them onto garments and bags, jewelry and moccasins, family designs and regional motifs grew across Dene and Day. Using steel cuts and opals, silver lines and red hearts, glass and metal, hide and velvet, mothers taught their daughters and then finally my mom taught me, pouring my great grandma's beads into tea saucers, helping her thread her needles. When we sew, we feel our grandmothers with us, how she sewed for her family and how that responsibility is now mine, using glass to reflect the beauty of creation around us and to uphold the Diné law of passing on the teachings to the young ones. These beads are so special and so important to who we are as Diné, and we use them to tell our story of who we are. My beading holds these generational memories in every stitch, keeping my grandmother with me, a living story.